La 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 la. I got this. Got this. <clears throat> yo yo yo, Hollow Knight Nation! Yeah! Hollow Knight Nation! Yo 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 yeah! All right. Let's see how far we get in the practice run. Just fought Zo uh, on Radiant and won, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, that's practice. Haven't fought in the Radiant. Probably should. That's kind of my. Uh, Main obstacle, so it's like kind of like the side obstacle. On days where I'm not feeling too good, I just kind of lose. So, on good days, you'd hope that I'd beat so. Uh, but you know, I don't know. Even on bad days, sometimes I reach the radiance. Uh, I think it'd be better if I just get really comfortable with this fight, and then you know, just start playing the Pantheon over and over again. It's kind of foolish of me to just like even attempt the Pantheon if I'm not even. 100% sure, or like 90% sure even, that I can beat the final boss. Which I'm not, I think it's like a 1 in 10 attempt. Fuck, like look at that, that was a mistake. Very punishing. Oh! That was so stupid. I, uh, yeah, I know, clearly. I should practice more. But that's not gonna happen. Time for the Pantheon. I don't really have nothing of note to talk about today. Uh, holy shit. Mostly on account of me having done nothing of note today. I woke up, started reading my book, and uh, stopped reading my book. Just kind of in a sloppy mood, uh, sitting on my couch, browsing Reddit for a good while. I tried to go through Instagram as well, because uh, I was trying to get into that. I thought it was like a site where people posted pictures of them being hot and shit, but I'm just seeing a lot of like uh, pretty low effort memes. And like stuff I've already seen before. I saw one meme of like, oh, how clumsy people act. And it's just like a dude going through a terrible experience. Like, yo, clumsy people going through their daily lives just trying to live. And I agree with that meme. It's like, yeah, it's a funny meme, I guess. A little skit of a guy stumbling over everything, dropping everything. That would suck being a clumsy person. Womp womp for them. And I scrolled down like two memes, uh, like two, whatever, like pictures, whatever they are. Not memes, actually. Um. And it was the exact same joke, clumsy people going through their daily lives. Uh, and it was just the same exact joke with a new person who did the same thing. I don't know why people do this. I hate it so much. I immediately got off the site because it's like my number one complaint about TikTok is how repetitive a lot of the stuff is. Someone makes a good joke, everyone just crowds and does the same joke, adding nothing to it. I hate it. That's like, if I see the same thing twice uh, on TikTok, like on one... Uh, like one day, I immediately just stripped off. I don't know, man. I just don't like that kind of repetition. I think it's uh, soul-crushingly uninteresting. Um, I like when stuff build on other jokes. If I see a meme, like I've, I've seen at some point, I saw like a good meme on Reddit. I was like, oh, that's a funny meme. And then I saw another meme referencing that old meme that I only you can only understand the meme if you've seen the first one. So it's just, I guess, lucky that I've seen it and that enough other people have as well. I like that, like the building on top of other things, that's awesome. But just making the same joke again, that takes a weird kind of person I feel. It's just like, oh yeah, there's a good bit, I'm gonna just, it's been online, that everyone has seen. I'm gonna do that same thing and add nothing to it. That's gonna, what it, that's gonna, that's gonna be my thing today. Yeah, they may do that. Like on some, like trends and stuff, I understand it. If you mention like a YouTuber sees a guy, uh, play a video game or something like that. I don't know. I'm on a video game side of YouTube. Then another YouTuber will see the guy playing the video game. I'm like, oh, it's a, I got a lot of views. Got good video. And they might make this like a similar video on the same game, um, which arguably is just as bad. Like all oh, the repetition again. But oftentimes they add slightly differently to the content. It's not like the same joke they copy. They just copy the same template or like the same. Uh, background material and like make their own jokes on top of that so i think that's fine but on tiktok and on instagram and reels and shit copying the exact same thing and only adding the difference in like the look like if it's your face this time i find that incredibly uninteresting and annoying really that i have to watch that uh, another thing is when people i've also seen a few people animate popular memes and that's slightly better because i can i know there's a lot of effort going to that and it's uh, 
usually a little well animated and they can appreciate that. And also, I guess it's like them just kind of practicing in a weird way. I can respect that to a certain extent, but it's also not that good. I usually like look at that, appreciate it, and then like leave. It's like less a form of like a good joke, it's just a. That's just art at this point. Or it's copying the same skit, I don't like that. Anyway, what was I talking about? I think just that, that was what I was talking about for the last like five minutes. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I should be doing more stuff today. I just don't have the energy. I'm really unmotivated. I have a lot of time today. I'm like I'm on vacation. My work's on vacation. I, yeah, so I'm on vacation. I have a lot of time. I have a lot of stuff to do. Like I could uh, do some studying like preemptively for the university that I'm going to. That'd probably just be a smart thing to do. Like look into what subjects there's gonna be and uh, get ahead of the game. Especially if I've got like a whole year, like, a gap year almost of uh, not studying anything. I should probably like catch up. I could start now. That'd be pretty useful. I also just have video games I could play, but that's what I'm feeling like. Uh, I could play Red Dead further. Bloodborne, and try again. I could just kind of replay it at Elden Ring or something. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff that I could do. Uh, but I just don't have the motivation right now. So that's why I'm playing Hollow Knight right now. I'm trying to do something quote-unquote productive here. Something I have to do anyway uh, today. And... Um, it often gives me a bit of energy. If I don't have any energy and no motivation to do anything, just kind of playing Hollow Knight for an hour talking, uh, gives my mind, like, that certain kick to, uh, start paying attention more, I think. And that's pretty useful. That's pretty good. It's like I'm, I'm acting like I'm a social person. Like, oh, look, I have, I have friends. I'm talking all the time. Like, my brain knows that I'm being social right now because I'm talking. Um, I am alone in my room, in my apartment. Um, <clears throat> but maybe my brain thinks I'm being social, that's why it gives me that extra energy to uh, keep going. Anyway, it's like my uh, recharging. Sometimes though, if I already have a bit of energy, Hollow Knight just kind of drains it. It depends on the mood like, and what I'm talking about and how well I'm doing. A lot of factors in there. But right now, with no energy, I'm hoping this is going to help. One thing I really should be doing is uh, studying the nutritional facts of tofu. I've been thinking about this a lot. I just haven't gone about studying it. I don't know. It's just not an interesting topic. I don't know why I'm so shocked that I, oh, I really should be studying tofu right now, but why would I really? I think I'm the one making food today, because uh, I'm alone home, and people will likely get home expecting there to be dinner. So I'll make something tofu related. I don't know why. Maybe like a lasagna with tofu? No, they don't like lasagna or cheese. Or like a guy who doesn't like anything we've eaten uh, in the last year, we have eaten to like lasagna recently-ish, like a month ago. He wouldn't like that. Then the other guy just doesn't like anything with cheese on it, melted, unmelted, any kind of cheese, mozzarella, cheddar. It doesn't matter. He just doesn't like it. We got to accommodate for that somehow as well. So lasagna is pretty much just out of the picture. Uh, what else do you make tofu there with? I think it's just a replacement meat. I almost isn't it? There's probably just like tofu dishes as well though. That has nothing to do with um, meat or like replacing meat. I might have looked into that. I always found that like fake meat pretending to be meat always felt a little bit weird to me. Like I get a burger and it's like, oh look, it's the Beyond Burger. It's a totally not meat burger and it's like a weird thing where. I feel like trying too hard to look like it at, as if it's meat gives it less value because you'll never compete with actual meat. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna be better. So, but like getting so close to meat that it reminds people of meat will only like enhance the differences. I feel like if I'm eating something, let's say tofu. I don't even know if tofu. Like again, I don't know enough to about tofu. But let's see I'm eating like a uh, fake meat substance or something. Uh, or substance? What's it called? A uh, replacement. Um, and I'm just eating that as part of its own thing. Not even thinking about it as meat, but only as a new thing. I feel like I'll be much happier with it. Uh, but if I eat, let's say, a burger, and I'm expecting it to taste like meat, but it doesn't, it's gonna get a lot worse just because I'm expecting something different. I think that makes sense. Oh well. Um, I missed. Funny. Oh, what? I walked into them. That's kind of sad. 
I'll try and do some smashed. Anyway, yeah. I should look into tofu more. I know, I know. I just don't know how to look into tofu and stay interested in the topic at the same time. It's just not interesting. It's not something I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna I'm so excited I'm gonna research tofu now. I think it's just to work with it. Make a dinner with it and see what happens. Also, a thing I need to do is my fashion era. I still haven't really entered it. I've been thinking about entering. I know it's time for my fashion era. I'm just not doing it, and I uh, can't help but put it off. And I really have good reasons to like indulge in this fashionista thing, uh, my fashion era, because my my jacket, my lovely lovely jacket I got from like I think it was Amsterdam. Um, it's been thoroughly grimed up. It's grimed up, it sucks, it's greasy, it's disgusting. It looks like I've thrown up on it multiple times and spilled a bunch of alcohol on it. And left it on the dirt for uh, hours at a time at a party. And that's about right. Except for the throwing up part. I'm pretty good at throwing up without hitting myself. I have a lot of practice on bones at uh, the restaurant. Uh, so I need a new jacket. I tried putting my jacket in the washing machine, it's like made of cloth, it's supposed to be able to put it there, it's good. But I forgot, you know, completely escaped my mind, that's not, that that's not how you're supposed to deal with uh, dirty clothes in that way, like in spots, and like... Now, how to explain it in English? All the marks, all the disgustingness, all the grime, it hasn't gotten washed out, it's just been washed in. And now it's like a permanent part of my jacket. A bunch of gray spots, some of them brown, some of them green. Uh, it's not very good. It doesn't look very uh, good at all. It looks like I'm. Anytime I'm looking wearing that jacket, it looks like I'm somehow really fucking clumsy and dropped a shit ton of alcohol on or something. Which is true. That did happen. It was like five days ago now, man. I don't have to deal with the consequences of that anymore, do I? Even while I was trying to have the bright idea of just kind of dropping my jacket on the messy, like, dirty ground of the grass. Because I realized, like, oh shit, I'm dropping a lot of stuff on my jacket here, I should probably take it off. And then while I had it in my hand, I dropped more alcohol on it because I was trying to pour alcohol in a cup that was in the same hand as my jacket. Kind of a difficult thing to do for me. Um, and so I thought, well, I'm not really capable of holding this, so I'm gonna just drop it right on the ground here. And I guess that ground was a bit wet or something. Uh, maybe I had spilled a bunch of alcohol recently and it happened to also land on the ground and not just my dragon jacket. So I have to say, not the smartest move. I was drunk. I think I'm bad. Like, I don't, I don't have to uh, explain myself. I do think it's kind of funny though. It's like, uh, did all the things you're not supposed to do with it if you wanted to stay clean. But now I do need a new jacket. Uh, a warm, like a, what do you call it? Cold jacket. One that I just kind of wear um, when it's like slightly cold, not that cold, I can over, wear it over a hoodie or like over a, another shirt or something without actually getting too hot. I have like an actual winter jacket for uh, for the winter and also not winter. It's a good jacket, um, but I need something colder now. Preferably something that looks a bit drippy as well because now I've like once again, I'm like, it's the perfect time for me to enter my fashion era now. I need a new jacket, I need new pants, I need new shirts, I need a lot of stuff. I could probably need some new shoes as well, thinking about it. I need all sorts of clothes. And I've also like, like I've grown out a lot of other stuff and it's been like worn down. Like I've only slightly grown out of it, but I've still grown out of it. Um, my pants especially. Just slightly too small for me. Maybe I've gotten more thick? I don't look more thick, I don't think. Maybe... Uh, I've got a bit of a... bit of a stomach now, comparatively. I used to be a, an absolutely stick figure, I had nothing. Uh, but drinking beer every day, no not every day, but at least like twice a week, does wonders for your physique. I can recommend, if you're looking to be a bear, uh, that's the way to go about it. I kinda accidentally orchestrated my own twink death, and I am a bit sad about it. Not because I'm losing out on the, uh, the thinness, I'm just losing out on my own clothes. I've gotten grown up with it. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I not shrieking this guy? Okay, of course this one. It's gonna take a while now. <laughs> I missed. He's so slow. Look at him. Alright, cool. 
Didn't take damage, so it's fine. But yeah, no, I need to probably just go outside, look through some stores. I just... It's just some research you gotta do, man. I gotta study up on my tofu, I gotta study up on my fashion, and I... Uh, just don't have any one else but myself to hold myself responsible. Like, I, I need to do all these things, but it's not like I need to them. It's not like I'm fucked if I don't do it. Um, and there's no one's gonna be shouting at me if I don't either. I'm not gonna lag behind on anything. It's just up to myself. I'm my own boss of this. And it appears like I'm not very good at being this. Unless I, like, actively schedule myself perfectly. Uh, then I just don't do shit, apparently. Um... Which I kinda already knew, but, like, I, uh... If I, like, when I worked out, I, uh... Made, put much effort into, uh... Making, uh, like, a huge, a whole lot of schedule. Like, picking out three days a week. I'm going at these times exactly after school, and that's when I'm working out. And I'm doing this and that at my workout. I, I have no flexibility, no nothing. I had it all planned out, and I did that every, uh, every week for, like, a few months. Then I broke my arm and stop. It wasn't fun. I never enjoyed it. I didn't like working out. I was also working out mostly alone, uh, which I hear from a lot of people is not the way to go about it. If you're not, like, having fun working out on your own. That you shouldn't work out on your own. It doesn't help you stay motivated. But I had enough motivation from just keeping up with my schedule. I uh, set a goal for myself, set a schedule. Pretty good at keeping up with what I like set up for myself. I don't quit, usually. Uh, I finish things the way I expected them. I don't like to uh, leave a job half finished, for example. I just don't like starting on a job, though, because I hate the feeling of failure. So, you know, miss every shot you don't take. No, no, I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't miss if I don't take the shot, you know. Then I don't lose the ball. Anyway, um, dude, I fucked up. Why is this taking that? I don't know. I, have, I, sh I think I streaked this guy twice and none of them hit. Depressing. Here I can just hit him easily though. Weird how I didn't do that before. Well, but yeah, yeah, no, I just thought I'd start, I guess, looking into. Well, it's just kind of boring. Uh, it, there's a reason why I haven't researched fashion or tofu before. It's just because it not, doesn't interest me. But it's something, it's a skill I think I should need. Like, I do need. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. How do how do I even go about it? Usually, when I am um, I'm trying to like study something, it's either for school, and then I have a lot of resources like given out by teachers that I can use to figure something out. And if I don't have any resources, I can ask the teachers, I'm like, hey, where can I read about this? And that works out pretty well. I already have help with that. If it's not school related, it usually relates to like something with my friend group or a game that I'm playing. And then I find it really easy to just go into any community. If it's a game, for example, I'm struggling with, let's say, Hollow Knight P5 All Bindings. I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I keep losing to uh, Collector, and I don't know what to do. Uh, I can just go on online and ask people online to see what's happening. I can go and watch a video of someone beating you know, the Collector All Bindings, and I can see, oh, okay, he just completely relied on all his life, but okay, I, I see. He, he, he doesn't do it either. He doesn't know what he's doing. And go look at another guy called Trollicker on YouTube. He actually like beats this like challenge over and over again, day after day. Except for like sometimes he loses to Collector for some reason. Like he has the opposite issue as me, where I think I'm pretty good on Collector now after like going through the research and shit. But he fucking breezes through Zote where I where I lose. Anyway, one thing. Yeah, no, it's easy to find resources if you know where to go. I have never been part of any fashion community or any... I haven't had a subject on school with it. I haven't had any friends who fashionistas. That's a lie. I have, like, a few friends who cared a lot about fashion. Only one of them who I actually, like, respects in regards to fashion, because they actually look drippy in my opinion. Drippy AF. I guess I could ask him. Just call him right now. Like, yo, how do you drip? Honestly, I should probably do that. That doesn't actually. Do I said that kind of as a joke. Haha, <laughs> I could call my friend and ask about fashion. <clears throat> Why not? It would just be a conversation to have with my friend. It would be awesome. He gets to rant about something he cares about and like, like it's good at, and I get to listen. Hmm. Seems like a pretty good for conversation, actually. And. Uh, 
But do I want to call him right now? No, no, I don't. I'd rather meet up with him or something. Maybe that's a good excuse. I'll orchestrate a whole ass meetup with all my friends. I'm like, yeah, we have a lot of body, like a party. I'm saying all my friends, probably just my all who's friends. And then among them, I'm just gonna invite him as well, casually, like you do. I'm not gonna leave anyone out. But it's all a, all a scheme. All of it's just a big old scheme so that I can get together with this one guy and ask him about fashion. That's my plan. My devious plot. Oh, I fucked up. Ah, oh, that sucks. I thought I was quick enough. I wasn't. Damn, took damage from Flukemorn. Fluke mother. Whatever. Oh, he's so slow. It confuses me. God damn. My instincts are like, oh. They're so wrong right now. I probably shouldn't get used to them either, because I don't want to get unused to the uh, actual fight. It's okay though, it's a really quick fight this game. I'm done soon. Hey. Kinda fucked that up. Weird. There we go. Who's next? Shio? I forget. No! Ah! Hate this fight. I'm getting hit pretty consistently just once during most fights. Uh, I think that's fine. Not getting an abundance of lifeblood uh, carrying over, but it's, it's gonna be fine. I think. Now I'm kind of conscious about what I'm doing, uh, which is bad. Whenever I'm conscious, I have to do worse. But let's see. but it's fun. So I guess it's not unnecessary if it's fun. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh yeah, it's also bad. Avoiding the randomness. Bit of a shriek. No, dive. Here. I have a lot of stuff that I could talk about, but I kind of don't want to. Um, the cover is like a train of thought. It's probably best left untraveled. Does that mean? Makes sense. Evil thoughts, bad things. Uh, a cruel man. I was born and raised an angel. Uh, I'm gonna die a sinner. <laughs> I feel like I quoted the movie, like a, like a, a song, but I fucked it up. Born, like, raised by an angel. I 
think that's the song lyric from uh, What's the Devil to Do. Good song. One of my favorite, probably. Ugh, bees. They're camouflaged by the guy's uh, blood. Alright, I'll do him. I'll do him. Could I take you in a fight in real life? The answer is no, pretty easily. You can make weird hammer things, I guess, like, just random ass bracelets. Although you are probably really small. Like, you're, you're a bug. Ghost bug, sure, but you're a bug, nonetheless. Could I just kind of crush it with my foot? I don't think... What, this is going to be like the size of a standard wedding ring or something? I don't think I'll be that hurt by it then. Um, probably, yeah, I could beat him. Yeah, I could be older in a fight. Is there any Hollow Knight creature that I couldn't beat in a fight? Con like, keeping their canonical size? Maybe Radiance is a god. It is a god. Um, yeah, no. I don't know if that's the actual... It's still the size of a moth, but it can just go into my dreams and make me insane, likely. I think the Radiance out of my league. I couldn't enter the Dream Rail at the first off, so how would I even attack them? I guess I know the same question for Older Who, but I guess he's already dead. Collector? It's just kind of goop. I don't know how to kill goop. I don't think the Primal Asp is going to really be that big of a problem. Although, I am horrified of bugs for some reason. Like, wasps, flying bugs, I hate them. I don't want to deal with them. I had a wasp come into my room uh, today. No, yesterday, actually. I was kind of buzzing around, and I thought, yep, yeah, okay, that's it. I lost my room. It's not mine anymore. Oh my god, that's stupid. You know, it just went in my room, started flying around, and I left, you know. It's his room now. I I, I lost. What am I going to do? Swatted away? I kind of looked for a flash swatter or something to fend it off with, but I had nothing. It, it thoroughly uh, got me, what can I say? And you know who am I to deny that? Like that that right. It's his room now. It went in there. It conquered it. Shit. I was too weak. Perhaps if I was uh, not raised by an angel, I would have been able to fend it off. Uh oh, what's that? Uh fuck it. Waste this soul on that. Worth it. Not a waste then. I did oh, wait, fuck. I got it. My soul's been used pretty well to clear out bugs, but it's... Mm, I'm not doing too good. It's somehow, like, staying slightly alive. And now I don't have soul. Okay, it's fine. Oh, how am I doing? I think I got hit, like, three times. Pretty bad. Pretty okay, though. Pretty alright. Too big a drinking game out of this. Take a shot whenever I take damage. <laughs> I might actually do that video. I've heard... Uh... More than one guy so far tell me that I should make a drinking episode where I just kind of drink alcohol while doing this because for some reason I'm just better at the game while I'm under the influence of drugs, either hungover or slightly uh, not sober. Oh, what? It hit me? I forgot your range is actually kind of good. Uh, that's stupid. That fight it sucks that I got it twice, but it's all right, I guess. It's fine. I'll deal with it. This fight, I shouldn't get hit ever, but I often do. It just kind of throws me off uh, slightly because I'm more used to the other grim. But oh well. I'm kind of repeating myself, I've said that a lot of times. That's just what I think when I reach this point. Damn, it's really fucking hot in my room. I don't- I think my PC is struggling. I should probably buy some thermal paste and like, fix the heating on this, because it is not proper. I, uh, when I put it together with my dad, we didn't have heating. What's it called? Uh, thermal fluid, and we just kind of half-assed it. I don't know if that's gonna fix it getting really hot. I think it's mostly just a problem if, if it's getting really hot or if the processor is getting really hot. 
Um, I guess maybe I should do some air conditioning in here or something like that. Maybe that's the the answer here, not fixing my PC, but just kind of acknowledging it's at fault and then uh, finding another solution. I never finished Blade and Sorcery's campaign, actually. Maybe you want to do that after this. You know, fuck being productive, buying a new jacket, studying tofu, whatever, blah, 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 all the things I want to do. Also, kind of want to play, uh, kind of want to play a video game. Uh, Blade and Sorcery, it's a really good game. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the campaign's not very good, considering mm, normal, like, what I'm used to. I feel like I played a single-player game, or story mode, or something like that. But thinking of it as like an engine, like the VR experience of like waving around swords and sorcery, it does that very well, very very well. And I've just unlocked some new weapons. I've got some stuff to do, I guess. The last boss, I think. Uh, the boss fights aren't that interesting. It's kind of weird. Like a big stone golem. I had to hit like some key points. Uh, like big, uh, like just like glowing crystal that you have to beat up. But in order to like access them, you have to beat up some glowing crystal elsewhere. Um, and all of it's cool at all. You can like probably climb in and attack in a weird way. It's like a big creature, you can climb and maybe attack him with different weaponry, throw your sword at him or something. Probably a lot of way to go about it. But I'm doing it the most boring way there is, I think. I, uh, the game gave me telekinesis, but I don't really use much in combat because it's not that powerful. Maybe it is, it's just not as fun. Is it kind of weird and finicky? Uh, but during these boss fights, that's like the only thing I do. Uh, they have a bunch of like crystals on top of its shoulder and stuff. Like, let's imagine like th three meters in the air or four or five. Uh, I wouldn't be able to reach that one, so I climbed or did some tricks here, threw a shot with a bow and arrow. So I just kind of awkwardly used telekinesis to uh, to fly a sword up to his shoulder. And then I stand like, eh, eh, moving my arms slightly around and trying to. Just mildly move it a little bit, because if I move my hand just a bit, the uh, the object I'm using telekinesis on moves a shit ton. Um, so it's like very finicky, I try to use that. I make it spin around with a magic like, spell, I guess, and I can just awkwardly place it on his shoulder. Then he throws a rock at me and kind of dodge out of the way. Ugh, now I have to reposition my, my flying sword or whatever. It's kind of awkward, I sometimes I hit it with a blunt end of the blade. It doesn't work then, okay. Sit there awkwardly standing, looking at this beast to, and then like I started like doing this one thing where I just kind of move in circles of it, like just kind of awkwardly walk around it using the joystick. Uh, then he doesn't hit me ever. He just doesn't even start an attack animation just because I'm not in his front of like not in his point of view or anything. It's pretty pretty weird, pretty uninteresting, pretty awkward honestly. And then eventually I win by beating all the crystals with my flying sword. Never even had the guy close to him. I didn't even use my own sword or anything. I found a sword on the ground that I uh, thought was like worth the, like losing. Of if I accidentally like, threw it off an edge or something, I don't know what happened to the Kinesis stuff. Um, and that's about the boss fights. The rest of the game, like, okay. The combat, though, against normal enemies is pretty good. And I wish there was more of that. A lot of times, like, exploration around, like, a procedurally generated chamber. Oftentimes, I end the fight really quickly. It's been somewhat like, pretty easy. It's like a weird balance where it's not properly done quite, I think. Where I 
kind of like going around stealthing enemies, killing them, seeing where they are, going up, killing them in creative ways, throw, shoving them off rooftops, grabbing by the throat and stabbing them quickly in their mouth or something. There's some stuff you can do to really, uh, really exciting stealth gameplay. And then if it goes up into a real fight, you can sh shoot them at fireballs and lightning and uh, have a whole fight. I think that's a lot of fun. But it's like three or four enemies. It's really, really useful, that useful to go for stealth, because I can kind of just beat them in the fight anyway. There's only three people, and I'm, I'm not going to lose. And I think that's a bit uh, sad. Missed opportunity. Especially because the only other way of like getting an actual challenge so far is going into like an arena. There's like a gladiator type thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't get damage there. Awesome. Um, and in that, there's no option for stealth or any uh, creative way of defeating the enemy. Well, that's awkward. I got thrown down because of the... Uh, <laughs> shoot, hitting up. Oh, shit, that was kind of what I was not hoping would happen. Damn, taking free damage from uh, Umu. Not looking good. Uh, yikes. Actually, does really suck. Whatever. I'm talking about Blade and Sorcerer and mostly complaining. I don't think I've quite emphasized how good the sword play is and uh, how much I like that. I'm just complaining about the boss fight and then kind of the difficulty is a bit weird. Oh, it has a lot of potential though. Yeah, I'm excited about it. And I'm thinking I'm going into the sandbox soon, just kind of messing around on my own. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Experience just placing a lot of enemies and maybe sneak up on them then or find some online scenarios, like some mods and shit to mess around with. I think it's a... I'm hoping it's a very modded game. It feels like it, uh, it would be very suited for mods. Like, people making custom scenarios or just custom weapons as well. A lot of custom weapons, I'm sure. Or magic. That'd be exciting. Seems cool. You know what's not cool though? Nosk. Not cool at all. So, um, done with that talk, I guess. Red Dead? I don't know. I played a bit further yesterday. Oh my god, I got hit by that. Stupid. It was alright. An okay experience at best. I uh, ended up quitting because it got too hot in my room. Like, there's an issue here. My PC is overheating or something. I don't know. Uh, also, it's not that cold outside anymore, so I can't really cool it with the air. Usually, if I just have my window open, it'd be fine, but it's not working. My window is open right now, and all there's coming in is bugs. Wasp taking over my room, and that's it. Uh, but otherwise, Red Dead is uh, cool enough. I don't know. It's not. It hasn't hooked me at all. I'm playing Storm. God damn it! I couldn't. Stupid short ass nail. Oh, I know it would have been last hit. I lost so much life blood from fucking Umu and Nas. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. Red Dead still hasn't hooked me. I played through the Captain's campaign. I'm just doing story missions. I don't know. I haven't gotten, found any reason to engage with any like side content, going around doing uh, hunting and shit. Doesn't interest me, it's not like I need the uh, help, like, I don't need a better weapon. The only thing I really did was get myself a better horse. I watched like a video on it and I'm like, okay, top five like things you can do in like, like tips and tricks kind of stuff. But, uh, I just thought that would probably give me some inspiration and stuff to do. Oh man. But it, uh, yeah, it did actually get me. I found a really good horse that I'm using now from the early game. And, uh, now I have that. I don't really need a better gun, though. I could probably go find the best gun in the game or something and, uh, have that be a little adventure. It's just not necessary. The game is not difficult. I don't think it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I do anything in the game. I don't need money either. 
I just kind of want to see the story. So I guess I'm just doing story missions and that's it. Maybe the game is just not for me. But it's a vibe. Sometimes it is nice. I feel like it's the kind of game that'd be really fun if I play with friends. There is a online mode. I could probably check out with some friends. So can like show me around like yeah, go fishing with them or like go on a hunt with them. That sounds actually uh, a lot of fun. Maybe gambling with them as well. Uh rob a bank or something. I think online would actually go wonders for that game. Uh so maybe I should like do that. Yeah. Probably. If only I had friends who liked Red Dead Redemption too. Oh well. Uh, that's funny because I do have a lot of friends who love that game. Very, very much. Yeah, hold on, I got you. Yo, we keep one lifeblood. Would have been four if I didn't lose to three to Umu. Would have been six if I didn't lose. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. You can hit without gaining a soul if you just. Do it quick enough after using the street. Curious. Kind of knew this already, but it's always kind of shocks me. I guess I'm used to like hitting three times and then uh, pulling off a spell. Good rhythm. Throws me off a bit if I do it too quickly, though. or something. That's annoying. It's a stupid way to take damage. I don't even think that's the first time that I... I'm just a miss input. Cool. Okay, again a miss input. I'm bad at the up and left, I guess. Up and directional, like up and left and right. Horizontal. Where'd it go? I don't, I don't remember. Horizontal, probably like this horizon, so it's uh, must be flat in that way. Vertical, I don't know what vertical, vertical is. Verti. Stupid language. 
sounds cool though. Got some hype pronunciations. My own language, Danish sounds uh, hella fucking goofy. Whenever you say anything, you can't really say anything cool in Danish because it's gonna sound like stupid. Toss go out. Feeling in the game, being done with that. Oh, barely didn't have enough dark. Dark soul? No, it's shape dash. Man. the need this all. this guy recently. It's pretty awkward. I was playing badly, but otherwise I got a bit unlucky as well. Sound of an elephant for some reason. Funny dung defender, you're not an elephant. Oh shit, I didn't dash in time. Yeah, I'm losing all my life up there. Almost. Wouldn't be surprising. It's a hard guy to keep your life with a nice random ass weird strange attacks. Barrage of randomness. And, uh, gotta be quick to react. Which I'm not right now. Well, that's just it. There we go. 
All right, when the final part. How much life blood can I keep? Up? No, I've been sold out. That's the question. On everybody's mind. Ah, yeah, that was that was really wrong. Oops, wrong dash. Making a lot of mis inputs today, I don't like it. That's not a fun way to fuck up. It's a disconnect from what I want to happen and what I actually do. Least fun form of fuck up. I guess like something random happening to you is also annoying, but at least you can sometimes try to uh, alleviate RNG or something. Fucking up input is just like your own fault, but it's not even your, a fun way of thinking. Fun way of feeling. You can't learn from that. What? There I can learn from that, but I don't. Fuck. I learned that I need to be more careful. <laughs> Holy shit, didn't see where that one spawned from. Alright, four health for Marcos. Come on, don't lose them all. I'm better than that, come on. Please. He's not better than that though, he's gonna fucking come for me. Get him there. Maybe I can get a cheek hit if he floats up the right spot. I kind of did, but it was nah, nah, not risk enough. Not worth the risk. Not even the second phase yet. It's not like I need this to end quickly. But he's going into corners. So I don't. Mark uh, up as a fight is really annoying. Um. But on top of that, him being able to just go in that corner when you don't have a floor, it's really annoying. That, like, elevates it from frustrating, but fine, to, uh, downright just boring. Uh, because, like, okay, that was pretty bad. It kind of wants you to incentivize, like, rushing him, maybe, but the rest of the fight, like, his shields, you want him to get his shield down before you can really attack him. And then... He doesn't often do that. Also, you need him to be stationary because he can just kind of move randomly and fuck you over sometimes. He ignores the knockback because despite him not colliding with these uh, platforms, he does not actually... Like, he can use them. If I hit him into a platform, he doesn't get pushed all the way. At least that's what I think is happening whenever I think he should be hit further, but somehow it doesn't. But of course, his most annoying thing is coming for me and actually like attacking me because it feels very random. He just kind of suddenly jumps at you, and uh, you have to move. And these swords always spawn slightly close enough to you that if you dash, you have always have a risk. Like if you're dashing at the wrong time, a shield sword just could spawn. It's not like you can completely calculate when they're going to spawn because that's also a bit randomized. It's like a slightly. Random each time there, it spawned really quickly, it's spawning pretty quickly now. No, we don't, it's not spawning anything, but sometimes it spawns it. 
a lot slower and that's just the way it is. What? I didn't activate the second phase? Damn. Got almost a full streak on. It's pretty rare to be able to do, but damn, he's still not in the second phase. Did he get buffed? What's happening? I feel like it's taking a while, but I guess maybe not. Oh my god, don't come for me. Thank you. Stay down there. Don't suddenly come at me. He suddenly came at me. He suddenly came at me. Listen to nothing I say. Just being Tralus. Hiding in the corner. What am I gonna do against that? Nothing, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait here. Awkwardly stand by this wall. Where they can spawn the other side of the wall, so I can't see where it spawns. That has happened. And it sucks, because I just get hit by that. Can't calculate its trajectory if I can't see it. Right, we're trying to dash to this platform. He comes for that as well. That sucks. Now we just spawn somewhere behind the wall. Bro, he is really coming for me. Okay, I'm gonna try to shriek him here. No need for, uh... Mm, Alright damage. Only twice got hit with it, but it's better than a nail damage. Like, nail swing him. Even very slash. I'm pretty sure. Like, 40 damage, I think. And the uh, nail damage is like, what, 30 or something? 20 or something? <laughs> Must be better. I don't like him being on top of me. I don't like him at all, actually, being anywhere near me. Uh, forces me to make stupid moves. Take risks. Oh my god, like, like this? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do there? What the hell? Asshole, get away. Maybe I should have reacted quicker? I don't know. Ah, oh, that was a bad move on my part. That's not even a, a Markov fucking me over. Playing this fight for so long, it's bound to fuck up at least once, you know? You want to end this fight quickly so it, nothing of the shitty RNG happens, but you can't really end this fight quickly because he chooses if you can hit him or not. It's like a reaction based fight, except it's not awesome. It's just have to uh, react. Can you have fun or not? This fight is also <laughs> not fun a lot of the time, but it's differently. Reaction based. Um... Okay. But I got fucked there. That was not even him. And that was also stupid. I'm not in the mindset of uh, reacting quickly now. Being very kind, this guy. Okay, that was pretty kind of him, thank you. Okay, I saw him da go over there, I'm like, aha, I've got a dash! I must get hit by him. I need to. 
Okay, well, that's why my uh, miscalculated completely what I want. No healing for me. Still no healing. I could give one shot by False Knight. I don't know. It's not a fight I lose to ever in practice. But I'm not ready for it. Maybe I can be. Don't feel ready by the looks of it. Don't get fucked immediately by... Never King, please. Just survive for like the first minute, and then I think I'm good. First 30 seconds mean everything. That almost was really bad. Fall attack is my worst attack. I don't know how to dodge properly. I always fuck up. At least once.
We're good though. I guess it's just, maybe this is politic. What's the other one then? Fire attack? That could be this as well. A lot of this is fire attack. I missed miss some bit again, but damn it. Why did I own Shriek? You may wonder. The answer is, uh, whoops. <laughs> Want to speak for much less damage there? That's why. Just some RNG manipulation. You wouldn't. Don't worry about it. See, everything under control. Easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. Does. Uh. O oh, G Z. Louisy. Anna. I'm in a rambling mood. All right. Uh, can I keep my lifeblood? This fight, I do like Radiant for fun. Uh, but in the Pantheon, for some reason, I fuck it up. It also takes a shit ton longer with the uh, nail binding because there is not many good options for uh, dealing soul damage. Guess this move there is. is Oh fuck, true that's not the way you act with that. Hmm. Didn't take damage because of soul, I just fucked up. I'm playing weird. I'm playing very weird, what the fuck? I don't have it in my instinct at all. First 30 seconds, all that matters, man. Fuck up.
<laughs> That's very disappointing that I got hit so much, but yeah, no ice. I had no butt. That's just very disappointing. I guess I have to go back to the practice on him. Rusty. Can't even blame it on like the first 30 seconds, like adaption period. I, I fucked up. Oh well, still pretty good run though. Got a got getting very far. Still on the run. It could still be that. Could be it. You know, who knows? Let's see. Miss input, I didn't press it quick enough. Shit. Yeah, no. Nah, not a good run, but uh, a decent run. I got the Radiance. I guess that is something. Sad performance at the end, though. I uh, definitely have been better. But we'll see. Wish me luck next time. <laughs> 